Hello, Cornerstone Church family, friends, and guests. I'm Sister Gina Green, and here are our announcements. Happy, happy birthday to all of you born in August. Atoria Barfield, Reginald Barfield, Christian Bratcher, Malachi Bratcher, Deborah Kelly, Portia Mayo, Rowan Sinclair, Dominique Trotter, Jakari Ward, Jean Welch, Antonio Woodard, Pastor Kezamani Togia, and last but not least, Sister Gina Green. Remember, Genesis says we are made in God's image. And Psalms 139 says you are wonderfully and marvelously made. Happy, happy birthday. Join us this Tuesday at 6 a.m. for the Cornerstone Mount Zion Prayer Call Hour. It will be well worth your while. Now we have an array of churches who call in from as far away as Los Angeles and Indiana, Louisiana, and even New Jersey. The call-in number is 720-820-1437. Again, 720-820-1437. If you have difficulty connecting, simply hang up and redial 720-820-1437 until you get through. Hey, Brother Sterling. Hey, Tammy, how you doing? I'm well, thank you. What's going on? Hey, what's what's up? up? What's up, Sterling? Trying to get blessed today. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in agreement with my brothers and sisters on this line that there's power in prayer. I also come to you lifting up um, the young adults, the young men, um, all youth in general. We just come thanking you for this opportunity to come together, dear Lord, um, mm -hmm. to share our hearts to hearts, dear Lord, and um, lift up prayers to you, Father God. Thanks, Thanks. Allow us to bring yes, others uh, to join us and that we take this and we share with someone, hey, here's what we're doing over here, you know, and I'm feeling good when I when I have this call. Be open, knowing there's you know, no judgment here, it's transparency, and we're here just to show and share our love for Christ. The well, Lakita took a text. She didn't take a text. Like, said, this is the young adults now. Don't take a text. What you over there? I'm taking sorry, a text. I was like, woo, come uh, on, hey. doctor. I think I've been dealing with anxiety since <clears throat> all this going on with COVID, um, with the protests, just kind of everything going on in the world. Um, and I think it's not just me. It's a lot of kids in my age group right now. I just made 33 on Saturday and I'm in the civil rights movement all over again. It's Into understanding the importance of voting. Great topic tonight, y'all, that there is yeah. this moment in time yeah. Yeah. where some risk got to be made, but for to the glory of God has to always right. be in your thinking. Right. Right. And I'm making a stand not just for my civil rights, but my right. spiritual rights. Right. At 7 p.m., Reverend Owens and Sister Antoinette Harris will continue to introduce our new book, The Adventure of Discipling Others, by Ron Bennett and John Purvis. This is where the rubber meets the road. This Wednesday at 7 p.m., we will have prayer meeting, Bible study, and observe the Lord's Supper. If you'd like to pay the Lord's tithe, give an offering, or give the pastor support, or any other ministry, then here's how. Option one, use the good old fashioned U.S. Postal Service and simply mail your gift to the church and or stop by the church and deposit it in our secure mail slot at any time. Leave the Lord's tithe and offering and pastoral support with our church staff between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and or phone us and we'll come by and pick it up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your faithfully supporting the Cornerstone Missionary Baptist Church. If you want to attend church worship, but you're concerned about the coronavirus, here are seven things that Pastor Cannon and the Cornerstone staff are doing to make your return comfortable. Number one, we are requiring everyone to wear a face mask while in the church facility. Hand sanitizers are located throughout the building and in the restroom dispensers. The sanctuary is marked for social distancing. You may sit on the alternating pews six feet apart and families may sit together. Our ushers will assist in physical distancing. Number four, our custodial staff and others are doing what we can to bleach the water fountains, door handles, door bars, light switches, restroom hardware, and all surfaces and tables. 
handrails, pews, and chairs. Number five, when we observe the Lord's Supper, we use hermetically sealed individualized cups that contain both the bread and the juice. We want to worship our Lord and assemble together in spirit and in truth, but responsibly. For other information, you may call the church office or simply consult the church website, our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube platform. Let this scripture encourage you. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm Sister Gina Green and Dr. Lester L. Cannon Sr. is our pastor. And to pastor, we just all want to say how much we love you, we appreciate you, and we are constantly praying for you daily.